Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to day three of the home workout challenge. So today we are doing abs and arms, a great combination. I'm actually low-key nervous <laughs> for today's workout because it's quite tough, I'm not going to lie. But we're tougher, you're tougher, and there's going to be variations for beginners, intermediate and advanced. I don't know why I'm punching my fists, it feels very aggressive right now. Um, but as usual, I will talk you through the workout, I'll show the variations. Uh, we will be doing, I think it's 40 of each exercise and 20 rests. There is a variation in this workout for beginners where you may want to be near a wall. So maybe do this somewhere that is near a blank wall that you can lean against for one of the exercises if you're doing the beginner's moderation. If you haven't already, if you somehow missed it, make sure that you sign up for this workout plan using the link in the description box because I will send you a load of information that will aid you on this plan. Let me know how you're finding it. Day three, you're still with me. I'm so glad you could totally do it. But yeah, let me know how you're finding it in the comments. Um, we can all just encourage each other and keep up with each other, share positive vibes and exercise. Without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? <laughs> All right, let's get straight into the workout, starting with a warm up as always. So, we're doing an upper body focused warm up today, doing some big circles. So, get your hands in the air like you just do not care, but not really do it like you care. Good posture, taking deep breaths in and out, getting nice and tall at the top, and just loosening up the shoulders. And the other way. How are you guys feeling? Well done for showing up for day three. Cool, then we're gonna jog on the spot, doing small circles going forward first and then in the opposite direction. And back the other way. Well done. Then we're just going to stretch out the triceps and the shoulders. So one arm across the body, hug it into the chest. And then do the same on the other side. And we're going to stretch over to the side, reaching over the head, trying not to fall forward or back, and then come down on the other side. Great, and we are good to go. So the first move that we're going to be doing are some forearm presses, so I'll just show you those here. Um, so in a bit of a pike position on the floor, intermediates, we're just lifting the body up and coming back down onto the forearms. Uh, for ad advanced, what you want to do is just lift up uh, one leg as you do this. And for beginners, you're going to be leaning against the wall, so that way you're only carrying a little less of your body weight. Ready to begin? in a pike position on the floor and go. So lowering the body down to the forearms and pushing up to the hands, keeping a nice engaged core. It's quite an intense exercise, but it is really good for just strengthening and toning the upper body. So if you're doing the advanced one, you just want to lift the leg up and then raise up the body. That way you're moving a larger amount of weight. Beginners, just step back from the wall as you push the body up. And rest. Well done. Ready for the second move where we're going to be doing some side planks. So intermediates, I want you on your side, lifting your knee to your chest and pulling the arm down. Advanced, I want you to actually be on your hand instead of your forearm 
and beginners we are just holding a side plank ready guys and go so lift the knee up um, and what moving this knee is going to do is it's going to actually challenge you to engage the core and use it to do what it's designed for, which is kind of keeping your body in check, staying in balance and um, kind of stabilizing movements between the upper and lower limbs. So as we move those limbs, we're really being challenged to keep the integrity of the position. Um, beginners, you're just holding that position. So keeping the hips up off the floor, trying to get a straight line between the foot, the knee, the hip and the shoulder shoulder trying not to fall forward or back but holding that straight line and rest well done and we're going to do the same thing just on the other side so you can choose which variation of this you're doing you can try like a one or two reps of of like a harder one if you feel that or you can drop down to an easier one and um, yeah just see how it feels and go coming up onto the forearm reaching over the head then bringing the knee up to the chest making sure that the hips don't drop so i want your hips up i don't want your bum sticking out at the back so keeping good posture as though you were like actually standing up so good posture trying not to roll forward advance we're just taking more weight in that arm and again, having a less stable foundation because it's just the hand rather than the forearm. So that is going to really challenge you to keep your um, core strong and balanced. And rest. Awesome. Next, we're going on to some press ups. Now, I did full body press ups as the intermediate of this, but you can definitely go onto your knees um, if you find doing this many reps difficult. I definitely started to feel it towards the end. So for beginners, we're on the knees, advanced, lifting one leg up at a time and go. So lowering the weight of the body and then pushing it back up. Beginners, you're still getting a really good workout by coming down onto the knees. You can also do just a slower rate of press ups. Advanced by lifting one leg up each time. You're not only getting a little glute workout, but you're actually just carrying more weight in the upper body. So this is quite intense, but you can do it. The way to get better at doing press ups is to, is to just do them. Um, they're such a good exercise for building strength and they're literally one of my keys when it comes to toning my arms and my upper body. Keep going, just a few more. Well done. And the next exercise we're going on to are elbow to knee. So uh, legs off the floor, twisting at the waist, bringing elbow to the knee for the intermediates. Advanced, I want you to get the whole back up off the ground and meet elbow to knee in the ear. Beginners, you can have your legs touching the ground and just twisting. Go. Um, so doing this exercise, you want to try and keep your elbows relatively open so that you get more of a twist in order to get those uh, the elbow and the knee touching. Uh, with the intermediate version, you are bringing the upper back just slightly off the floor, um, but not all the way like the advanced version because uh, that's very difficult. But keeping the legs off the floor as much as you can, really engaging the core, twisting through the obliques, doing really well, keep going. I love this exercise, it's so effective. And rest, well done, well done. Next exercise we're doing is a good old trusty plank. So intermediates, we're just holding a plank position. Advanced, we're actually gonna lift up alternate limbs. So opposite leg and opposite arm up off the floor. Uh, beginners, we're gonna plank, but bending at the knees. Ready and go. Holding that position. Keeping the core nice and tight. Try and keep a good kind of posture when you do this. So try not to get your bum up in the air um, or your hips kind of sinking down in front of you. So you can adjust as it feels comfortable. Um, a good way of doing this is just kind of squeezing the core. Uh, my tendency is to over arch my lower back. So I actually just intentionally kind of adjust my pelvic tilt but um yeah fiddle around and feel what see what's good for you and rest we are taking a minute rest so you can stretch it out i don't know why i just love stretching out my lower back especially when i'm doing core work and ab work and um, but yeah do whatever you feel grab a drink if you want to and 
this is more of kind of like a strength and resistance workout I guess um, rather than a cardio workout so yeah might be that you're feeling a little tight rather than thirsty you can take this moment to let me know how you're getting on in the comments what variation you're doing and um, whether you're aching from yesterday or feeling okay either way you're doing a great job just showing up and being here so well done for that Awesome, so we're going to get ready to go back in with the first exercise of the set. So these were the four arm raises. So on the floor in a pike position, ready to go, ready and go. So lifting up off the ground with the forearms, beginners pushing up from the wall. The further you step back from the wall, the harder it will be. Advance, we're lifting up the leg and then raising the body, lowering down, lowering the leg, alternating legs. Again, that's just increasing the intensity by increasing the weight. This exercise is very challenging, but it's also very effective. So keep going, you can do it. Just a few more, you're doing really well. And rest, well done, well done. Going on to the side planks. So coming onto your side. Intermediates, we're moving through, advanced. The, we're planking on the one hand. Beginners just holding that solid plank and go. So bring the knee up and pull the arm down. So your knee and elbow should meet but trying to isolate those movements in those limbs so not letting the hip drop not wobbling back and forth really maintaining your balance engaging the obliques as we do so advanced just feeling that extra kind of instability due to uh, um, being just on the hand you're doing really well a few more and relax well done same thing just on the other side ready and up we go breathing through it Try to make sure that you're not like hunching your shoulders. So get a nice long neck. You can adjust the position of your arm if you need to. Body in a straight line from the ankle, through the knee, through the hip, through the shoulder. Really squeezing those obliques, squeezing the glutes as well to just lift the body up so that your hips aren't dropping down. Doing really well, guys. And relax for 20. Going back in with some press ups. These are going to be serious. These are about to be serious. But you've got this. You can do it. We're going to go in hard, and we're going to we're going to go for it. Ready and go. Lowering the weight of the body down, pushing back up. Try and keep like a plank-like position when you do this, beginners, on your knees. So in, if you're doing intermediate and you wanna go on your knees, that's totally cool, like full press-ups are tough. Advanced, we're just lifting up one leg each time as we go down. So you can slow the rate if you need to, but try not to stop. So if you need to pause at the top, that's totally cool, that's fine, you're still getting in a great workout try and keep going you're doing so well just a few more i know it's tough and rest god that one got me it actually really got me it was it was tough all right elbow to knee intermediates keeping those legs off the floor but twisting through the waist just about lifting up the upper body advance that whole upper body better be up off the floor ready and go 
twisting through the waist, elbows to knee, keep it moving, shoulders nice and low, elbows open. Beginners, we're doing the same movement, except we're dropping that leg down to the floor to get a bit of a bit of an easier, well, it's still not easy, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, but it'll just make it more doable. Keep going, you're doing really well. Nearly there, a few more. Absolutely smashing it, guys. And rest for 20 before we move on to the final core shaker, abs sculptor, legend definer, the plank. So coming onto our front, on the forearms, intermediate, holding the plank, advanced lifting limbs, beginners on your knees and go. Advanced, when you're kind of lifting alternate limbs, what you want to do is make sure you're not moving around. If you're shifting, if you're shaking like the leaning tower of, of, of pizza, you know, that's not good. You want to be still and steady. So you don't want to be like rocking from side to side as you lift your limb. It's about getting minimal movement as you just lift the opposite leg and the opposite arm. Keeping a good position, just a few more seconds. You can do it, nearly there. And rest, well done, well done. We've done it, you've done it, you've smashed it. You've absolutely smashed day three. I'm so proud of you. Um, just have a little stretch, chill, grab a drink, rest, and I will see you back here for tomorrow. Well done guys, see you soon.